Greetings friends, welcome once again to my game room. I'm David McCord and I am a game collector and a game maker and um, I would like to share with you a little game here that is a strategy game from West Africa that is called Yote. And uh, it's a very popular game in the countries of uh, Senegal, Mali, uh, Burkina Faso. Um, it was known in Timbuktu uh, as many as a couple of hundred years ago. Uh, the game apparently originated with a uh, Fulani tribe, um, a, a tribe of nomads uh, there in West Africa that uh, spread the game uh, all around the region. There was a book written by Angelis Navarro that uh, included Yote, it's entitled The Ten Best Games in the World. And so he felt uh, pretty highly about this game. Um, it seems like a, a little jump and capture game, but there's a lot more to it. Um, some devastating moves that uh, really turn the game around in a hurry. But Yote is also uh, known as a gambling game. How that works, I don't know. I haven't been able to find any uh, written rules of uh, how that betting works for the game other than to just bet on a winner. But uh, Things can happen pretty quickly in this game, as you'll see. Let's take a look at the rules and you'll see how to play Yote. Each player has 12 pegs of a unique color. Players alternate turns with the lighter color traditionally moving first. On one's turn, a player may do any one of the following. Place a peg from their supply into any empty hole on the board. Or move one of their pegs already on the board orthogonally to an empty adjacent hole. Or, capture an opponent's peg if it is orthogonally adjacent by jumping into the cell immediately beyond it. Now here's a powerful and devastating rule. The captured peg is removed from the board and the capturing player then removes one more of the opponent's pegs from the board. If a player has no move available, the game ends and the player with a greater number of pegs remaining is the winner. That's pretty much the entire game, but there are a few variants that you might try. In one case, captures can be made mandatory, and when two possible captures are available, the active player chooses which to make. A multiple successive jumps by a peg in a single turn can be permitted. After a chain jump like this, the player removes one of the opponent's pegs for each one they jumped. A player can jump one of their own pegs. The peg they jumped remains in play. Things can change very, very quickly in this game. Uh, with that multiple capture rule, is, uh, it's pretty devastating. I, uh, I can see how people might bet on the outcome when it's so unpredictable. Um, but it's a quick little game. Uh, definitely highly recommended. Uh, if you have a chance to check it out, uh, of course, it's part of the Peg Pastime series from New Venture Games, uh, distributed by Red Hen Toys. If you're interested in Yote and other games uh, of uh, historical value from around the world, by all means subscribe to our channel here and we'll be talking about more ancient games. Uh, but as well as modern games and the ancient roots of the mechanics that we all know and love in modern uh, tabletop games. Meanwhile, it's like I always say, you should play every day.